I'm John, and this is Mary. Hi! We're here to invite you to come and kiss Hank's ass with us. Sorry, who, who's Hank and why do I want to kiss his ass? If you kiss Hank's ass, he'll give you a million dollars. If you don't, he'll kick the shit out of you. What? Hank is a billionaire philanthropist. Hank built this town. He owns this town. He can do anything he wants. And what he wants to do is give you a million dollars. But he can't until you kiss his ass. That doesn't really make any sense. Why? Who are you to question Hank's gift? Don't you want a million dollars? Isn't that worth a little kiss on the ass? No. Maybe if it's legit, but... Well then come kiss Hank's ass with us. Do you kiss Hank's ass often? Oh yes, all the time. And has he given you a million dollars? Well, no. You don't get the money until you leave town. So why don't you leave town now? You can't leave until Hank tells you to. Otherwise, you don't get the million dollars and he kicks the shit out of you. And do you know anybody who's kissed Hank's ass, left town, and gotten a million dollars? My mother kissed Hank's ass for years, and she left town last year. I'm sure she got the money. Mm -hmm. So, you haven't talked to her since? <laughs> of course not. Hank doesn't allow it. What makes you think he'll actually give you the money if you've never actually talked to somebody who did get the money? He gives you a little bit before you leave town. Maybe you'll get a small raise or win the lotto or just find a $20 bill on the street. What exactly does that have to do with Hank? Hank has certain connections. <laughs> okay, this is just ridiculous. But it's a million dollars. Can you really take that chance? And remember, if you don't kiss Hank's ass, he'll kick the shit out of you. You know, maybe if I could see Hank or talk to him, get the details straight from his mouth. No one sees Hank, no one talks to Hank. Then how do you kiss his ass? Well, sometimes we just blow him a kiss and, and think about his ass. And other times, we kiss Carl's ass and he passes it on. Carl? Friend of ours. He's the one who taught us all about kissing Hank's ass. And you just took his word for it that there's a Hank who wants you to kiss his ass and that he'll give you a million dollars? Of course not. Hank gave Carl a letter years ago explaining the whole thing. Here, here's a copy. This appears to be written on uh, Carl's letterhead. Hank didn't have any paper. You know, I've, I've, I've got a hunch that if we checked, we'd find that this is actually Carl's handwriting. Of course. Hank dictated it. I thought nobody got to see Hank. Oh, not now. But years ago, he did talk to some people. I thought you said he was a philanthropist. What kind of philanthropist wants to kick the shit out of somebody for being different? It's what Hank wants, and Hank is always right. Yeah, um, how do you figure? Item 7 says, everything Hank says is right. That's good enough for me. Okay, um, maybe your friend Carl just made this all up. No way. Item 5 says, Hank dictated this list himself. And item 2 says, use alcohol in moderation. Mm. And item four says, eat right. And item eight says, wash your hands after you use the bathroom. And everybody knows that's right. <laughs> so everything else must be true too. Yeah, number nine says, don't use alcohol, which doesn't exactly go with number two. And uh, number six says, the moon is made of green cheese. There's no contradiction between item nine and item two. Nine clarifies two. And as far as six goes, you've never been to the moon, so you can't be sure. I'm pretty sure we've uh, firmly established that the moon is made of rock. Yes, but they don't know if the rock came from the Earth or from out of space. So it could just as easily be made of green cheese. I'm pretty sure that theory has been discounted. I mean, scientists make mistakes, but not knowing where the moon came from doesn't make it green cheese. But you just said that scientists make mistakes. But we know Hank is always right. We do? Of course we do. Item 7 says so. Let me see if I got this straight then. You're saying that Hank is always right because the list says so. 
and the list is right because Hank dictated it. And we know that Hank dictated it because the list says that Hank dictated it. So Hank is always right because Hank says so. You're getting it. I'm so glad when people come around to Hank's way of thinking. <sighs> Never mind. What, what's this bit about the wieners? <gasps> wieners in buns, no condiments. That's Hank's way. Anything else is wrong. Praise Hank. Okay, what if I don't have any buns? No bun, no wiener. A wiener without a bun is wrong. Oh, yes. So, no relish or mustard? There's no need for such language. Condiments of any kind are wrong. Okay, so... Hypothetically speaking, a, a big pile of sauerkraut with wieners oh. chopped up in it, that, that would be completely out of the question. Oh, I am not listening to this. That no, no. is no. disgusting. No. Only some sort of evil deviant would eat that stuff. But it's good. I eat it all the time. Oh. I'll be right back. Well, if I had known that you were one of those, I wouldn't have wasted my time. When Hank kicks the shit out of you, I'll be there, counting my money and laughing. I'll kiss Hank's ass for you, you bunless, cut waiter, trout eater. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You. Hello? Hello? Great guy will let you wear a frown. He'll get you high. 